Hi there! So I realized why I hesitate making exactly these videos about what ticks me off, because when I think about it, when I try to write down the things that ticks me off, that itself ticks me off! So what is it that ticks me off this time? Well, the internet. The internet ticks me off. Let me elaborate. Relatable posts. See, I understand why people want to be relatable and why people want to relate to other people. It's a kind of a natural thing, it's kind of like a pack mentality thing. But honestly, I feel like it's very often contradicting and it's also just such a big blob of pack mentality wannabe bullshit. Because people love relating to other people. It just becomes kind of like this attention thing where it's like, hey guys, 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 you can relate to me because I have the same thoughts as you guys and it's like awesome and stuff. I particularly hate when people whine and complain about stuff such as whining about life stuff and school stuff and homework stuff. Oh my god, schools destroys mental health. Nobody understands me. I'm fat and I don't have a boyfriend. Shut up. You know what? Homework is like slavery. You what, mate? I could make a whole video arguing with these things, arguing with these complaints, and I, I, honestly, I probably will. People are so annoying, and I really hate people, and I have so much angst that I don't understand why I'm so lonely. Oh my god, shut up! Misplaced self-advertising and clickbait bullshit. My dog, that I loved very, very much, just died. Rest in peace, buddy. Hey, beauty and fashion channel, check me out! Link in bio. I do horror let's plays and stuff, link in bio, go check me out! Oh my god, naked pictures of the queen, link in bio. Shut up! Hey, I understand that you might want to get your stuff shown if you have something to show if you make something of some sort if you make videos and stuff i understand that you want people to see it but time and place okay time and place ads that try to trick me now generally speaking i actually don't have a burning desire to break all ads in pieces and shatter them and make them burn in hell when people give you something for free like a product it could be a website with a certain service it could be an app it could be a game when people give you something for free they still usually want to earn some money on it, and that's usually through ad revenue. So when you're playing a game and an ad pops up, or there's like an advertising on the side of a website, that's how they make some kind of money, because they get paid to show ads. What really bothers me is when people make low effort attempts to trick me with ads. Like when you want to download some kind of software, or a driver update, or something like that, and there's like five different download buttons, none of them, which are the right one, and then the actual download button is like hidden down in the corner, and you just like... Why? Or when I play games on my iPad and the X button for the ad that pops up is either really well hidden or just kind of fake, you know? Like it looks like, oh, that's the X and then it just pops you up to the Apple Store page anyways. Do you honestly think that by interrupting my gaming session and flinging me onto a page for another crappy game, then I'm actually gonna click download? I know that our revenue is higher if people actually click the link rather than just being shown the ad, but still. You're just wasting my time and I get really pissed off. Speaking of the App Store, teasing trick products. So while browsing apps in the App Store, you might come across different apps that have like a light version and a full version. The full version being a version that you pay for and the light version being, you know, crappy, filled with ads and less features. Now, I particularly don't mind this because at least when it says a light version and I know there's a full version that I, I know what I'm getting into. I know what I'm signing up for. Maybe I don't need the special features and I just want something simple and the light version is enough for me and I don't mind ads. So the other day I was looking through App Store trying to find an app to kind of like, you know, note stuff down, like a journal app with a password protection. I find one, there's only one version, it's not a light version either, it's just, it's, 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 I found an app. I click on the app, I look at screenshots, it looks fine. It's free, it's got in-game purchases, but I figured those would just be, you know, additional features and, and I don't know, removing of ads. So I download it, I use it for a couple days, and then it so graciously notifies me. I cannot have more than three posts at a time, and if I want to keep making them, I'll have to delete the old ones. And that is because I don't have the subscription thing. What? If your program requires payment to be used as advertised, don't fucking put it up for free! That's just tricking people! Yes, I know there's that little loophole thing where it's like, well, you can only have three posts, but you can delete your old ones and write new ones, so technically you can still use it. Don't bullshit me. Don't bullshit me with that. I guess you could say that I, as a consumer, am just really sick of being milked and fooled and tricked by greedy, attention-sick people. All this bullshit that just ticks me off and makes my soul hurt. I could say that I should just get off the internet for a while, but the thing is, I have not been that much on the internet lately, and I think it just destroyed my internet tolerance. Kinda like alcohol. So what ticks you off? Let me know. Moral of the day, don't be a piece of shit. Also don't fight with trolls, and with that I'm gonna take my leave. Goodbye. Yes, I realize the hypocrisy. What you on about?